Hello, I'm Kathy Kelly Regan. I'm Granby Town Clerk, and I'm here to talk a little bit about our annual town meeting and our annual town election. Monday, May 8th, and Monday, June 5th, will be the annual town meeting dates. The annual town meetings will be at the East Meadows School, and you can check in anytime after 6.15, and the meeting will start at 7 p.m. The annual town election will be Monday, May 15th. The annual town election with all other elections will always be at the Granby Junior Senior High School. Um, you check in by precincts, you pull into the back parking lot. Um, during school hours, there is a designated area for parking for the voters. And you walk into the back gym and then you just check in by your precincts. If you don't know what your precincts are, uh, one of the election workers can help you and you can also find that information out on our town website. So if you are not a registered voter, the last day to register for these events is Friday, April 28th. That will be available until 5 p.m., but there are other ways you can register to vote as well. You can do it in person in my office from um, the public hours, which are Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., and Fridays, 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Um, or you can go online on our website, which if you don't know, it's gramby-ma.gov. Go to the town clerk department, um, click on voter registration, takes you right to the secretary of the Commonwealth site, and you just go through the prompting of um, the instructions. You must have a Massachusetts um, ID or driver's license in order to register online. You can also pick up mail-in uh, voter applications uh, for registering to vote at the post office and at the Granby Public Library. I do have a drop box outside my office that uh, says elections, and you can drop the ballot application for voter registration in there, um, or you can put it through the regular United States Postal Service. Um, but obviously dropping it in the box up at the town hall uh, will be processed quicker. No matter which way you register to vote, you will always get an acknowledgement. If you don't receive that acknowledgement notice from my office, please call the office um, so we can check into that. Also, if you didn't answer your annual town census um, and you received a postcard, you need to call my office so I can update your voter information. That postcard now has um, dubbed you inactive. It doesn't take away your voting rights, but it tells us that you possibly might not be a resident anymore in town, so we need to update your information. So please, if you're unsure about how you answered your annual town census, you should call the office uh, so we can update your information. Voting by mail now, you, uh, for local elections, have to request um, that you want the ballot. That again, you can get a form on our website under the town clerk department. And if you don't have a printer, you can certainly call my office and I can either mail out an application to you or instruct you how, uh, what I need in order for me to mail you a ballot. So if you go online, the ballot application has different lines. So if there's more than one family member that would like to um, request a ballot, um, they can also just sign their name, the address, and I will be able to mail whoever is on this form a ballot for the um, town election. Any mail-in ballots, half the application has to be received at least five business days um, before the day of the election. So the last day anybody can request a mail-in ballot will be uh, Monday, May 8th. After that, um, your choices are to go to the polls on May 15th, um, or if you're going to be out of town um, or you qualify, you could do an absentee ballot. Um, those qualifications are you're not able to make the polling hours during the election day, um, you have a religious belief or a, a disability. Um, then you can come into the office and do an absentee ballot, and that you can do um, up to 5 p.m. on Friday before the election, which is May 12th. Now, our ballot this year, there are four spots that are vacant. 
So if you know of somebody that wants to be a write-in, you would write their name in that vacant spot, their address if you have it, and fill in the oval next to their name. Um, if you do not have any intentions to do any write-ins, um, I ask that you just skip over it, any of those positions and leave it blank. If you only want to vote for one thing, that is perfectly fine. Um, but if you have no intentions to do the write-ins, um, please leave it blank. Another thing you want to actually um, do is when you're looking at the ballot, you want it to make sure if it says vote for one or vote for two. So for example, the school committee is vote for two, but there is one blank um, position. So that is where if you know of somebody you want it to write in, you would write that in and then fill in the oval. Um, you'll see another school committee p position, which it says um, unexpired of two years. Uh, what happened there was last year there was a failure to elect the school committee member. So it was appointed to this year's election, and then that becomes an unexpired term. So basically, any of these positions that are write-ins, if no one gets written in, the process is I send a letter to the select board saying that there's been a failure to elect and then um, the select board along with that board or committee will come up with a name, appoint somebody until the next year's annual town election and then that term will become an unexpired term of either two years. In the case of planning board or housing it would be an unexpired um, term for four years because those two terms are five-year terms. Um, the library trustees is also vote three. So you, you can, if you only know one person and you want to vote one, that's perfectly fine, but there are three positions that are, are open. Um, that's pretty much uh, what the ballot is like this year. If you have any questions, you can certainly call the office and I'll help you out. Um, and I thank you for your time and uh, have a good day. Mm -hmm.